Whenever you you're wake up, about you it, brush right? your teeth, you send dynasty trades. Like yes. that's what your day should look like. Yeah. And if it doesn't, you're doing something wrong. Did you know the best strategy in Dynasty is to sell a player as soon as they produce? That's sarcasm. Depends on how you define a good Dynasty team. And, and that can be subjective, but to us, good means you win money because money is cool. Why the heck else would you get in these leagues with a buy-in if you didn't want to win the entire league and take people's money? A, a team that can compete for two or three years, that's what makes a good Dynasty roster. That's what makes you're just donating your buy-in if you're just in a perpetual rebuild. I'm a genius, dude. I know. It's if you let what you think about a player override value thinking strategically, it's going to kill you. Look beyond your opinion of a player and look at the market value. If someone has fallen two rounds, take them. Yeah, and I think that's really what we're saying. It often behooves you to down tier for more points instead of down tiering for depth. are you like doing and like an sat that word you really thing because <laughs> you keep saying usurp and behoof. i'm sorry I, like, <laughs> i've never said I, to you I, like what's the app on your phone where you like learn new words <laughs> word well day. that's what yeah. i've been doing this entire <laughs> time i'm like th 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 i've been th th sourcing all when of you this, see so. nathan sitting in thought he's like what word am i going to use when it gets to me go ahead <laughs> no but chris i love him alave yep. chris alave i love him yeah, Drake, I love him, London. Not somebody that we did a prospect video before the draft. Not somebody that I watched film on. Did you watch film on him? I did. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Did you watch film on him? I did. Okay, everybody <laughs> watched film but me. Market value fluctuates week to week in Dynasty. And the funny thing is, it actually happens more in the off season than it does during the actual season when things are going on. Because crazy. Dynasty players get bored. Because we get bored. That's why we play Dynasty. Yep. There are a couple guys in Dynasty that you really can't say anything about without getting completely trash for No, 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 no. But buy Tony Pollard now while he's going but, in the fifth but, okay, round. So, so next year, you can make sure you brag about it when there he's going you go. in the 11th. If you really want to buy into high-producing running backs, why not do the running backs that have already fallen because of the age? Zero. There's zero chance that his value is higher next year than it is now with Tony. There's not a chance. Please sell Tony Pollard. Please do not draft him. Draft the young wide receiver instead. Nick and, and if you're, I, that's, some of you are gonna watch this and still draft him anyways, and, and you're just you're hopeless. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't wow. be playing Dynasty. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with you guys? I mean, seriously, like, I mean, <laughs> what is it about Tony Pollard that we're that excited about? You think Tony Pollard's the workhorse between the tackles back? Seriously? And now all of a sudden, so, out of nowhere. It's Cam Akers season again, it's and he's sliding back. Cam Akers, so he's going. Z you, you have, I kid you not, a third chance to sell Cam Akers. I am pleading with you to do it now. I've do never it. seen. I've never <laughs> seen. And I, people are like, I'm not so sure. I'm, I'm selling Cam Akers. Why, Why would you not? Somebody's going to get on this jersey wearing a split Tony Pollard Cam Akers jersey. Like, These guys suck. <laughs> Like, the Bears suck. That's why they have the first overall pick. Yeah. It is hilarious how how much Bears fans have been flexing that they got the number one pick. I'm like, you are flexing that you were the. We have Justin Fields and the number one pick. Is there a correlation there? <laughs> because I'm already, I can already tell people are watching this video and there's tears rolling down their face. They just, they're so mad. Subpar analysis. <laughs> Do us a huge favor. If you want these huge values, do a huge like on this huge video and make sure you huge subscribe. And that didn't huge. make sense. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into our 2024 Dynasty Rookie Mock Draft live after the week of the Cheerio. Combine. We've Dude. already sent out this Rookie Mac, Mac, Mac. Rookie Big Mac, Mac, Mac draft, draft Guide. Rookie Mock Draft to our flockfantasy.com slash domain supporters. So if you're over on the flock and you're a mother flocker, jump in and mock draft with us. I'm going to check right now and see how many teams we got in there like and the all of them. Okay. Rookie so we're going to start draft. off tonight with, like I said, a Rookie Mock Draft. We're going to go through answer some Doesn't comments as well. No. Big Mac. Yeah, right. that's, that's true. No. Answer some comments as well. Uh, but let's jump over and do the mock draft here. First tonight, we've got, again, some of our favorite people of all time in this. And let's see how this rookie draft mock sorts out, if you'll turn that off for me. Sam? Turn what off? Like I said, guys. The you horrible use... sound. Yes. Joe. <laughs> like I said, Who? guys. Code domain, flockfaces.com. You can get in these drafts. Damien says, I really wish I could watch this stream, but I got school. Yeah. I'll let you do it, Sam. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I, I forgot you were there. 
Damien, I'm sorry you have school. School sucks. He did have a question, though. Blum, the 12 blum. team Superflex, he trades away. Hurts, the 102, a 25 late second, and a 24, 310 for Jefferson Tua and a 25 late first. Interesting. Interesting. <sighs> 102. Oh, man. I'm taking the Hurts and 102 side. I would take the Hurts and 102 side as well. Yep. Uh, Kev says baddies only. Hmm. Need he Kev's good more. to see you, buddy. Glad yeah. you're here, dude. Yep. DF Wu Tang series says mock hype. Anna Gwynn says she's watching Wonker, so she's. Wonker. Wow. Wonka, but she's going to so miss this one, but hope you guys have a really oh. fun stream. Y'all are the best. Let us know Anna. if it's a good movie. Yeah, I'm interested. We like Chalamet. I've heard it's like a prequel to like the original Wonka, which the original oh, really? the original Willy Wonka okay. is I, the one I like. So Nathan reminds me the, of the OG Wonka from Willy Wonka. Is real nice. It's got a good soundtrack. Like uh, Oompa Loompa? Yeah. yeah. I don't need... Oompa Loompa. Oompa We're going to get a copyright do. strike. But how do I like... Maybe I don't talk. I don't talk like an Oompa Loompa. I don't no, look I like actually, an Oompa I Loompa. No, I see it. Maybe does. maybe I did when I had my my hair back with my little bean sprout. But other than mm. that, like no. What? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Corey Nichols <laughs> says, "Don't mind me. He's just here to do a little Oppo research." Corey, good to see you, my friend. Thanks for joining us tonight. Farmer Maisie says, "Sup, sup, Farmer Maisie. Farmer Maisie got in our uh, live league that we'll be drafting this Saturday or Friday. Sorry, Friday night mm. at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, God's time zone, live yes. on the Dynasty Domain channel." Uh, what? No, I'm taking this away. I'm taking both of these away. No, why? No, because he auto picked. I want to see what this pick actually was. Oh, there we go. All right, you got it, Jamie. Or you're welcome. Don't auto again. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do this. Let's see. Is he gonna do it? JJ McCarthy. <laughs> he took Waffle Houser's pick. Waffle House is gonna be ticked. Uh, Luke says we back, baby. Luke, we are back indeed. Uh, Wu Tang says, guys, I know my blueprint says to trade Kyron for a productive wide receiver, but I may be able to trade Kyron in a mid 24 second for the 103, and you have to do that. Answer is yes. Please do that. I mean, that's a yeah, that's that could be way a, more than I thought you'd be able to get if you're moving off Kyron. So well done. So Waffle Hauser, one of our guys, takes Hardly Jonathan more. Brooks. Mm. Nice. There you go. Wa takes Jonathan Brooks at the 110, which, again, that's totally plausible at this point. Yeah. Troy Franklin still does go at the 111. Um, but I know he got autoed the first time. So Xavier Worthy also in the first round. Mm -hmm. No, you were missing somebody. Lad McConkey, Trey Benson. There's a guy still not here. Wow. Mm, this is interesting. Is it Joe? That, how did you know? <laughs> but which one? There he goes. Well, there's Adonai Mitchell at the 2-3. So there's we'll see. Two guys that haven't gone. Waffle Hauser said you took away Holy. my draft pick, <laughs> dude. <laughs> sorry. The guy autoed. I wanted to get actual good ADP from this, and so he just happened to snipe you. So Sorry, buddy. This is surprising. He's going to make me say something horrible Marshawn now. Lloyd. We like Marshawn Lloyd. There are... Tavian Sanders. Wow. That's pretty high for Tavian Sanders. My goodness. Interesting stuffs. There is Sky a... Royism's here. He says you made it just in time. What's up, buddy? Yep. Tim... Four. says, time to prep for the new league. You know it, buddy. I'm not drafting these. So if you guys draft, hey, if you guys jump in the startup draft, Nathan and I are taking notes. Like, I'm yep. definitely going to use this to see who who people like, and we're going to start sniping you in the Note taking. Years. Correct. Uh, Dude, but, you're not close enough to me for me to snipe you in the in the draft because oh, we did the draw. I know, but. So you're, you're eighth, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm two. You're, you're eight. Two. Yeah. yeah. So again, we'll be drafting live a $100 Dynasty startup draft Friday night. Uh, ben says, guys, what's up? What ben from on? Indy, what's up? Ben, good to see you. Uh, the Hot Nichols says, hit the like. Hit the like. Super. If we get 1,000 likes on this stream, we'll stay up all night tonight and do a stream. How about that? 1,000 a a thousand likes. likes. Has to be 1,000. Uh, Anna Gwen says, so good. I do saw I have anything going too. on in the morning? Oh, I didn't know Timothy no. Shall or whatever his, heck his name is is in that movie. So. Shall may. Although Dune 2 was awesome. Literally one of the better movies that I've seen, and the score was should, should we go over the entire plot of Dune 2 real quick? <sighs> no, mean, there's too yeah. many people that haven't seen it, oh, okay. including Sam. Finally, Penix and Nix go at the end of the second round in this mock draft. <laughs> what? Taking Keon Coleman over Michael Penix is is uh, satirical. Taking a lot of these guys over Nix Nix and Penix. Wow. <laughs> Nix. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, uh, Matthew says, sorry, I'm a bit light. Yeah, it's okay, Matthew. Light. Hope you had a great weekend. Appreciate you, buddy. I Toronto mean, Dave's here, and he's celebrating per usual. What's up, Toronto Dave from Toronto? Tim mm -hmm. says, uh, Thomas before Odunze is wild. I didn't I mean, even realize that, but that's ridiculous. You guys are mother flockers with code domain. Yeah. Respect the Odunze. Odunze deserves respect. Respect. Kep says, and Brian Thomas is Kep good. says, oh no. 
Yeah. Uh, it's the correct range for Brian Thomas. Actually, he's in the right tier. What's incorrect is Odunze falling so far. I've got to go. Caps, pull Caps is coming up. Caps says, we're going fourth round QJ this year. Oh, my gosh. Mm. No, Man, not Caps this year. Caps is out for year. the receipts today. No, nah, he's just in that league, and he never is going <laughs> to let me live that down, ever. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Yeah. Uh, um, well, should we talk about the draft real quick? <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's talk about the draft yeah, yeah, a little yeah, bit. So, about. actually... It's funny because we were just talking about Penix and Knicks going there at the end of the second round, but I'm looking at this. Anywhere from J.J. McCarthy to Jalen Wright, the 1-9 to the 2-10, there's an argument for that to be, with one the exception tier. of Braylon Allen, one big fat tier until we know what draft capital is yeah, and obviously landing spot. That tier will break up and stuff depending on all of that, but I'm not kidding. Like There's a chance all of these guys have showcased enough where they could all go no later than day two and be going in this like it, it's it's impressive so um crazy yeah and we did see our our top four running backs go top yeah. four here hey grenda goes at the three one here i i like seeing him move up boards it's just it's fun to see a guy that like was really honestly completely irrelevant there are only like one or two guys in the entire world that were streaming his name and they're allowed about it and then he actually does something at the combine you're like dang sweet like i i am Totally neutral on the Garendo stuff, but I think it's fun to see him do what he did and actually potentially get like good enough day three draft capital where you can take a dart throw on him because of his skill set and his speed. So bunch of guys in the same tier from a receiving standpoint there, Malachi yeah. Corley, Polk, Wilson. Roman Wilson, uh, bump him up in the second round. I'm surprised please. McMillan didn't go higher than that. Honestly, a little bit surprised there. But. Yeah, yeah. I would <laughs> Let us know what you guys think about McMillan in the comments um, with his combine, his measurables, what he did at the combine compared to Jalen Polk. For us, it was enough for us to pretty comfortably rank him ahead of Polk by, I, I think, do we have in the same tier in our rankings or a tier above McMillan? A tier above. Okay, so McMillan, a tier above Polk. It was, yeah. There, there's unknowns with both of them, sure. Some people will still like Polk over McMillan, but for us, like, I don't, I don't know. I, th I think he got a leg up on Polk, so... I do think it's interesting that Joe Milton went ahead of Spencer Rattler because I would probably yeah. put Spencer Rattler next on this list. So, yeah, Rattler's an interesting case. There, they talk about another guy that's just been getting whispers. Like, there's some crazies out there that think he's gonna go that that think he's gonna go day two, and um, yeah. So, what, what do you think about that? The whole Rattler stuff. I think it's gonna be interesting. I'm you, intrigued. You think he could go day two? I, I'm kind I of think intrigued it's possible. too. I know. I think it's possible. I think anything. Apparently, possible. he's like grown up a lot. <laughs> Here, go down to the bottom, Sam. Uh, Tyler says he's not. He wasn't respecting Odunze, disrespecting Odunze. All right, uh, but wasn't expecting him to drop. So stayed with my guy Thomas Jr. No, you got to when he take drops, the you value take him. You got to take the value. Yep. We're just messing with you, Joper. We're just messing hey, with you. Hey, of all the times to not follow that rule, you do it in a mock draft. Uh, John it's says forgivable. John says chicks take now. the long ball. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Long what? Nothing. Long ball. Audric SMA at the 4-4, four, four, fall from grace. Bums are. <laughs> it's true. I'm ball. sad. Look, oh, Jaheim Bell in the fourth. Please. Yeah. Oh, uh, there goes CMC's bro going in the fourth round. Remember when, ever, like, Everyone was making a huge deal about how Luke McCaffrey got a better 40 time than his brother by a hundredth of a second. And he's like not even a fraction of the talent that CMC is. So Rip. that's why he's going in the fourth round here. I just thought it was funny. I was like, it, yeah, I name value, just... name value. <laughs> uh, Barner name. just went, hey, AJ Barner, how about that? Very nice. You know who AJ Barner is, Nathan? Um, he sounds familiar. Is he a Michigan guy? Yep, but where did he go before that? <sighs> he went. Did he go to IU? He did go to IU. Okay. Yep. And then we lost him, and he won a national championship. Did, and when the did we? Of, when did we lose him? Eh, it's two years ago, I think. There was. He was really. Oh, he was good okay. when he was at IU. Okay. He was there for the last year of Penix too. I remember. Well, I remember the Hendershot years because Hendershot was there with Penix. Yeah. Penix's good year is a COVID year, and Hendershot like he was good enough to he kind of put his name on the. On the map for, Am I for an IU supposed prospect, to be right? interrupting you guys? You can. Well, you just did, so. I'll read it. Uh, love content, guys. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Matt, we appreciate you, buddy. Thanks yeah. for your support. You're in a 12-team, 1QB PPR league. You have the 102. So, uh, so Malik neighbors. neighbors or Romo Dunze. Or Romo Dunze, right? Yep. 107 That's and 109. Neighbors Trade 7 and 9 for 3. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. In a 1QB. Yes. You better believe and it. And also trade JSN. 
plus Downs for the 104. So 104 is Brock Bowers. So JSN and Downs. No. Bowers or Thomas. Oh, Thomas is... No, I'd still take JSN and Downs. I, I wouldn't make both of those trades because then you're talking about, about going from four assets to two. So I think, right. I think I, going I, from four to three is good. I still like the upside of JSN, and I like I the too. value you're getting in Downs. The 104, I too. yes, I do like Brock Bowers. Yes, I do like Brian Thomas, but they are... Bowers is the fourth best wide receiver in the class. So you're, you're, you have Otunze and Neighbors. That's enough... Uh, that's enough chances you're taking on this class at the wide receiver position. Stick with JSN. Yeah, so I, I think the first trade you make, you, you get Odunze and Neighbors. That's amazing. Two studs. It's like um, unfair. And then, yeah, I think you just stay put for the other one. Love y'all. Thanks. We love you too, buddy. Thanks for your super chat. Thanks for supporting the channel. We appreciate you. All right, I'm going to switch over here. I'm going to take control of this for a second. Sam, uh, I'm going to switch over to our other mock draft. We're going to be doing a Dynasty startup mock draft now. Um, so if you want to join that, like I said, if you're in the Discord, where the frick is it if you're in the discord uh and you're a mother flocker over at flockfantasy.com slash domain try uh, right quick oh my gosh are you screen see if, sharing see, see if you can find it no oh <clears throat> uh use code domain when you sign up and you yeah. are able to get in one of those mock drafts with us but i'm gonna drop this link in here right now it's gonna be a 12 team dynasty superflex startup draft there it is there you go and will you close the um the paint at the bottom please this yep yeah okay. right there and move that move that start your draft thing all right here we go coming in the discord in the announcements and boom start up all right we'll fill this up real quick um let's take a couple more comments if we have time here but didn't send i'm so lost <laughs> thank you yeah you're good all right, like I said, flockfantasy.com slash domain if you want to get a team blueprint. And also, if you want to get our 2024 Dynasty Rookie Draft Guide. Uh, if you want both of these things, like I mentioned, use code domain over at flockfantasy.com slash domain. It's right there, same at the very top. Right there at the very top. There you go. Flockfantasy.com slash domain. Sorry, such a pretty graphic. I know. Becca did Who are we going to have on the cover of the graphic for version 2? Um, that's what I want. Ooh, I don't know. That's a good. That's a good. I have one a couple ideas. About. Yeah. All right. Let's do a dynasty startup <clears throat> mock draft. Looks like we're full. So we'll start this. We'll see how it goes. And there are a couple guys in this mock draft. Tomahawks in here. Toki Ghost is in here. Uh, who else is in here? That's in our in our league with us. I think Corey is too. I can't remember. I think yes. I think he is. So. We're collecting intel right now. This is a scouting performance for us. Unless they're, you know, playing us. That's true. You can't just say you're scouting them and then they know that for the mock draft. So they're like, I'm just going to completely do the exact, <gasps> excuse me, <laughs> the exact <laughs> opposite of uh, that. what they're going to do in the draft. Excuse my hiccup. <laughs> oh, apparently it's on rookies. I got to fix that. Oh, uh, dude. I was I was like, 15, 12 rounds of rookies. That'd be really fun to watch. Be, that would be. Amazing. That would be pretty awesome. There we go. I think Joe would get picked. Who? Joe uh, Milton. For some reason, Sam, that's not refreshing. It, it's drafting right now, so you might have to refresh that page. But Gotta love it. Yep. Interesting. It will at some point. But no, Josh Allen, 1-1. One, one, Mahomes, 1-2. As expected. And CJ Stroud, 1-3. You taking CJ Stroud or... Well, I don't want to name drop. Gonna say I'll name drop after he goes. You can't say yet. Yeah. Yep. I'll name drop after he goes. Sleep. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Uh, there we go. Would you prefer CJ Stroud or Jalen Hurts? Now it's going in Dynasty right now. Um, I would. I lean CJ Stroud honestly. But I I'm not blaming people for taking Jalen Hurts over over CJ. Yeah, Stroud. I'm on the fence about it. Part of me, I'm like, I'm trying to eliminate bias because I don't. <laughs> I don't love Jalen Hurts as a quarterback. Oh my gosh! But hey, we have a super chat, Sam. What are you gosh? Well, on? you're the one that needs to be reading it. Oh, you can read it, Nathan. Uh, I've been seeing people talk about a virtual baby shower. Nathan, can you confirm this is happening, or is Avery a big strong man? His words. Um, so the virtual baby shower. I saw this conversation go down in our in our Discord. Um. 
Yeah, I can confirm this is happening. What? <laughs> we'll do a virtual baby Are shower for Avery and his, and his baby. The domain heir. This is a big deal, dude. This is your first kid. He's going to be born very soon. And he's the heir to Dynasty Domain. We have to baby like... Baby showers are for women. Well, it's special for you, okay? Oh so, gosh. yeah, we'll, we'll do a virtual baby shower for Avery. We'll figure out what we can do there. Everybody but. bring your virtual diapers. Yes, yes. Virtual diapers are a big deal. I um, will not be there. <laughs> Darn. Yep. Rep the brand <laughs> domain. I wouldn't right. be shocked if Avery didn't show up either. Is do is <laughs> is uh is Domain Baby gonna make an appearance on a live stream? Oh yeah, once after once, born. As soon as he's old enough to open his eyes and say oh welcome gosh. to Dynasty Dude, Domain, he'll the be the first the first words out of his mouth. You know how like most kids are like they first word is no. Domain. They're gonna say he's gonna say domain. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> he's the one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's answer a couple more comments here from our peeps. Waffle Hauser. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, William Houston has a question. Nathan, yeah, I appreciate the follow up. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Waffle yeah, Hauser. Thanks for your confirm. support, buddy. Oh my gosh, Domain Baby. You want to read William Houston's comment? Like, yeah, I freaking yep. told you to. Yeah, <laughs> yep, Domain Baby. I traded Garrett Wilson for the 106 and 307. I feel like I won, but I miss Garrett and sometimes think it was a mistake. What are your thoughts, um, William? I'm going to be completely honest with you. I do think that was a mistake. Personally, I would have preferred Garrett Wilson over the 106. I think. Um, even though we really like Bowers, even though we really like Odunze, Brian Thomas, that kind of range, 106 to 108, I still prefer Garrett Wilson, who is a proven wide receiver. And despite the situation, even though he is with Aaron Rodgers and could be successful this year and productive, yeah, sure, he has questions. But, I mean, you're talking about a second-round dynasty startup pick at value right now at price. And if you're – that really would be down tiering from Garrett Wilson to the 106 from a value perspective. And I think you could have gotten a little bit more on top if you had taken the 106 and traded away Garrett Wilson. So that would just have been my recommendation to you. Obviously, that 106 is going to continue to increase in value. And it increased in value overnight after the combine with Odunze and what he did and just the love of Brock Bowers across the board. Brian Thomas, like I said, obviously. But again, probably would take Wilson there. Uh, next question. Are we worried about Joe Burrow's bounce back or, or. Uh, worried about him bouncing back or not? I guess would be my question back. Uh, there, there's a yeah. follow up. He said, I saw I saw a doctor say that a surgery like that is rare and a QB hasn't had it before. Also saying that his mobility and his wrist could be 80 percent what it would be. Is it a Twitter doctor? <laughs> so, yeah. Big question. <laughs> First question is, who is a source? Second question is. Not second question. Second note on this would be Joe Burrow has not been or really ever has been known for his arm strength ever. Um, so when we're talking about his wrists and him throwing the ball, sure, maybe that can be a little bit of a concern, I guess, but not enough for me to really knock him. I think at this point we know what Joe Burrow is. We know that he has injury questions. We know that he may not be able to stay healthy for an entire season consistently year in and year out. That's just kind of who Joe Burrow is, it seems to be at the moment, and unless he can really figure it out. But with the wrist mobility and there being so many questions, I, there's just, to me, that sounds like a lot of whispers and a lot of probably noise and just concerns for the sake of being concerned, I guess, because he missed the entire season. At the end of the day, he'll be back on the field, and when he plays on the field, he'll probably prove his doubters wrong because he's a really, really good football player. And he's not dependent on arm strength or mobility in general. Like, he's just a very cerebral quarterback. So that's kind of my take with Burrow. Uh, Anna says, Dune 2 was definitely better. But, yes, Timothy plays Wonk. So wonk. there you go. Wonk. Wonka. Um, Penix plus Odunze. At the 108. 108. Yeah, so he got nice. he got – he got Odunze in the first round and Pinks in the second. That's nuts. Very nice. That's not going to happen, honestly. Yep. Derp Anthony says, my draft is sweet at the 108. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, yep. Luke says, Nix is pick, pick at 2.0. Interesting. Interesting. I think... Um, I think that's plausible. I yeah. Think it, that's... that's pro Honestly, that's probably his floor. I think his ceiling is a... Um, Brock Purdy. I don't even want to say a more athletic Brock Purdy because Brock Purdy was moving <laughs> in True. the postseason. But that really, like, that's a pretty common comp for Bo Nix. And I'm not going to get cute and try to combat that. I really think it's pretty accurate yeah, it because Brock Purdy is a good NFL quarterback. And that's what Bo Nix could be. And given the right system, he'll do what's required of him and he'll he'll be a really solid, reliable QB that makes good decisions. So uh, one QB start nine, if you're at the 105, how much would you give to move up to 
the 102. Uh, let me tell you right now, in a 1QB, ooh, 1QB to the 1, ooh. I'd probably give up a second round pick. How many, how many picks do you have outside of the 105? A little context would be nice there. Brandon says, 12 teams start nine, one QB rebuilding around wide receiver. Currently have Alave, Addison can start five wide receivers. Have the 24, 101, 103, 201. Traded the 108, Zamir White and Michael Wilson for Zay Flowers. Any thoughts? In a one QB, that is an absolute smashing value. I'm taking Zay Flowers smashing. easily. Not a question. Waffle Lazar says, I can't believe I got Jalen that late. This is not good for ADP. <laughs> well, actually, that's about where he's been soon. going. Jalen Wright. Yeah. Yeah. He'll he'll probably keep going up, though. Because he was 207. That's, you know, pretty typical. Yeah. Caliber says trade Levis for the 202 in a 12-man Superflex League. WL or N? What does N stand for? Uh, Don't neither. answer that. Traded Levis for the 202. I would probably take the Neutral. 202 there. But N A. There's, there's an infinite amount of answers. So it all beginning with the letter that. N. Yes. Uh, I would definitely, I think I'd take the 202. Are you taking the 202 there? S yeah. Seeing that you can get a better quarterback at the 202. Than, right, at the moment, yeah. Than that. So yeah, That's about at price. Le Levis is, he's like late first, early second, so it's fair. Uh, MVP candidate says Vinny Vidivici spying for Intel. <laughs> Actually, we're spying on you. So yeah. I will say, if you're watching this video, hoping for us to commentate on the draft, we're not commentating on the draft tonight because I don't want people to use this for our live draft Friday and be like, oh, they thought that this person went too high or this person went too low, then we're going to snipe them. So I but don't. But then we're just going to get crapped on in the comments by like. I think we're going to live. By like a, I think we're going to live. Like a Ricardo. So for strategic purposes, since we have a live draft four days from now on this channel with these guys, we are not opening ourselves up. We have to save all of our strategy for then. So we're gonna I told him we're gonna be in the zone. Like we're gonna be live. Yeah, we're gonna be locked we're in. We're gonna be drafting. Like there might be some moments of intense I mean, silence. Yes, there will be. And I'm honestly I'm gonna print some rankings and stuff like that so I can mark as I go because otherwise I mean with a minute clock, like you gotta be moving. Like oh, you yeah. gotta know who your targets are, especially yep. like market yeah, value wise. It's, yep, you're right. So I mean, I think we're both going to be big in league. I, that's a lot of stress for a, for a hundred dollar buy in league with a short I'm, clock. I'm so bummed. and and we're gonna have to keep track of. Never mind. I, I can't, I, yeah, I can't shut, say up, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't say anything. Uh, Matthew says, "So my dynasty, I I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, my so my dynasty league's on ESPN. Like like it got put on ESPN. Like congratulations." I'm just kidding. Uh, I know it's ridiculous. I try to get my friends to do uh, it on the one that's supposed to be on Sleeper. Uh, I'm about to buy the blueprint. Nice. How can I send you the league info? Uh, no, we we do we do ESPN leagues as well. So you'll just type out in the form, like we have a Google form. You just type out all your settings and stuff like that, and then you'll include screenshots of your roster. I'm yeah. correct in that, right, Kyle? Yep. Draft yes. capital. So, so all that jazz. we do we do ESPN leagues. We do every type of league. So I'm very sorry it's on ESPN, but I'm more excited that Matthew's going to be over there on on the domain with us. And like I mentioned, yep. blockfantasy.com slash domain. domain. If you use code domain, you get both of these things that are right Who? here. Yup. And what you get access to our DMs. Huh? Ah. Uh, you get a lot of other things. We just we just like hanging out with people over there. I'm yeah. not going to spend a bunch of time selling you on this because it's just fun. And if you join, then we're going to have fun. Oh, mm -hmm. it also, Mother Flock of March, where I think we were at 12 on Friday. We'll do our next update next Friday. But if we get 100 new Mother Flocker members this month, which we can do, then we're doing an all-night live stream. We're staying up all night and doing live stream. So flockfantasy.com slash domain. In the description, you can find that link. Rome just went in the fourth round. I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm just saying he did. Um, but is it? But is it? Luke says in a 12-team Superflex, he has AR and Fields. He got offered this today. He gives up the 102, 112, and a 25 third. For Nakua, Barkley and Henry. It's close. Ooh. It's close. It's I actually crazy. A late first is currently value equivalent to Barkley right now. So I'd probably say you get... 112 plus the 25 third for Barkley. Derrick Henry's a wash in this deal. So is the third. I right. mean, the Nakua Barkley for the 102 112 is probably even. Yeah. I, I would maybe give the market in side. In a super flex, I'd probably still, I, I would probably go the 102 side. I think I would too. Side. So it's That's close. Tough. If you could get more back or give up less, then we'd do that. Yeah. Because our personal preference is we always like the proven players and we like the guy who had the record-breaking rookie receiving season. It's so it's all about market value though. 
Uh, Matthew says 12 team super flex wide receivers. You got CD Hill, Diggs, Cup, Higgins, Downs, and then at running back you've got Cans. Okay. Uh, QB says Kyler and Pickett, tight end Kincaid, Kittle and Joku. Too many. Uh, my picks are 225 first and a 26 first. Who should I move off to get my second quarterback? A uh, tight end. A tight end. Uh, you've got Kincaid, Kittle and Joku there. You don't need those guys. Uh, I, I like your wide receivers. I don't know who your running backs are because it says cans, and I don't know what that means. But I do think you're moving off CMC one of those. Autocorrect is it like that's that's really reaching. Maybe yeah. I mean, I'm I, just looking to see I, if he. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know, but but I'm still moving off one of the tight ends to get your second quarterback. Uh, target, try to move Kincaid and target Goff. That's what I would do there. Your job. Yeah. That's what honestly. That's what I'm doing there. Uh, Man of Cole is worthy. Worthy? <laughs> is he worthy of a one twelve <laughs> of one twelve pick in rookie drafts, or is he just hype right now? He is. He is worthy of that. He is. Uh, <laughs> Adam says drafted Lamar, <laughs> Kyler, and Purdy with the one hundred two, one hundred three through winning. <laughs> this is such a weird crossover. <laughs> I know it is. I, I gotta show this to David tomorrow. Oh my uh, god. One hundred three through one hundred six, likely taking quarterback. Okay. Uh, what hall can I look like for to fall back on, but still get neighbors? Okay, good question. Thirty-five minutes. Until what? <laughs> if you sit here, show David. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Um. All right. One hundred two. One hundred three. One hundred six. Like eighteen. Court. What court? To fall back, but still get neighbors. Um. Nathan, any ideas there? Oh man. I think you could fall back as late as the one hundred five and still get neighbors. So if you trade it back from the 102 and you got like the 105 I mean, He thinks plus. the 103 through 106 is taking QB, so he could go back to the 107. Oh, my gosh. I mean, that's a that's a that's a ball. You get a lot that's, of that. Yeah, that's a ballsy prediction. Somebody could be BSing you and just take neighbors. Right, right. And that's happened before. And I, that has happened before. <laughs> uh, John says, change the rookies uh, rankings from rookies. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Uh, Alan says, we doing a startup? Yes, we are. Still set to rookies. I'm an idiot. Sharm says, only rookies. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Corey says, yep, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Mystic Flame says, Burrow 1-7. Give me that's pretty good or yeah. bad value, depending on what we think of our personal opinion of that. I'm going to be purred happily for the rest of this. My opinion on this matter is this. The fact that I have an opinion. <laughs> I'm not telling you what I think of it because I've got a draft with these guys. Farmer Maisie says, tush push could giraffe. lead to volatility. That is true. You heard with Purd. Trent McBride says, how crazy would it be to take neighbors in Odunze and good landing spots uh, over Daniels or May if they end up at the Patriots? I, I'm not using as the, Patri uh, the Patriots as a reason right now to short somebody because Bill's It's a completely different team. <laughs> it's watch it be the exact same team. That would be so funny. That would be really funny. It's a, it's a different team. It still is. Corey, team. Corey says, I don't think I'm getting chased at the 111 in the live draft. You could or you couldn't. Both are possible. Bofa. Bofa these possibilities. Yes. Skyrim possibilities. Would you rather draft Pacheco or Spears? Uh, same tier, right? Um, I would go Spears. Okay, Spears. Mm. Okay. Uh, Farmer Maisie says, "Remember when DK wore the is that bold? I, I don't know. I just I leaned Pacheco if I was going to answer, but I just then I was like to I, to me, I just view them both as as volatile assets as they are. So why not just to me? I'm like, uh, why not set back the clock a year? on their rookie deal, you, you know, because Pacheco will be going to his third, Spears into his second, and a situation where he's probably going to be the lead back. Uh, that's just it for me, I guess, but, like, it, it doesn't matter. Um, by the way, we are not making comments on the picks oh, in this matter. draft because a lot of these are our domain mother flockers. We have a league draft coming up with them live on the channel Friday, so we don't want to give away any strategy, so we are not going to be commenting, but we're going to let these guys draft. We're going to well, answer questions. I just gave away about Ty J. Spears. Dang it, Nathan. Waffle Hauser says... Or did I? Reverse psychology. <laughs> yeah. Reverse psychiatry, dude. What if we like? Did oh. a, what if we did a whole video this week, like about draft strategies and just like BS the whole totally thing to the, kill that yeah. draft? So you really want to be taking the best possible running back? Like they, they're going too low. Just take as them at the one hundred six. Possible, as early as possible. Pollard, yeah, take Pollard. Pollard. So, Pollard. Tony Pollard is the best some, value. People, some some dude in our league said he'd rather have gum surgery than draft Tony Pollard. <laughs> I was like, that's one of my us boy. is gonna get him in like the fifteenth round. They're gonna make us watch this. They're gonna make us take fields. And we're like, are you kidding me? <laughs> it, yeah, it'll be funny. To, Waffle Hauser says he's saving it. big money for it. He must be shopping at Bernard's or Bernard's. Uh, bring you to <laughs> tears money. 
All right, we'll see. Trent says, would you keep JSN or Jordan Love for the last spot in a Keeper League 1QB? One 1QB, one I'd keep JSN there. <laughs> yeah. What are your thoughts on T-Law making a jump this year, staying kind of stagnant? I would say staying where he's at, but it's still not bad, right? And if he gets a contract and it's like, he's going to score you 17 points a game for the next No, I years. think it's terrible value. I think he should be falling even more. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I wouldn't I yeah. wouldn't be taking him anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I actually disagree. You should probably take him like sixth or seventh, seventh overall. Round, like no, sixth earlier. or seventh overall. Uh, if my dynasty isn't on sleep, <laughs> we shouldn't do this for the 99% of our viewers who are not <laughs> drafting with us Friday. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence yeah. is good value right now. If my dynasty uh, isn't on sleeper, will you be able to see the settings <laughs> after I buy the blueprint? Yep, we'll be able to see it. Yep. Uh, Trenton says, if you watch LaMelo Ball, he hurt Rust and he always messing with it. Huh? Interesting. That's... um. I mean, I feel. I hope he's not too rusty. Big Lamelo fan, by the way. <laughs> Thanks <I'm>, for that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, only. I'm thing assuming he wasn't talking. That, I think. Was, I think it probably autocorrected from wrist. To oh, rust that's what it is. That's okay. Because that's we were what talking, talking about, about Joe Burrow's wrist. <laughs> Trent, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was just trolling, dude. I, I knew what you were talking I about. I didn't. I was like, <laughs> what? I, still I was know. gonna come back to it, and actually, I knew what you. He heard his. Okay, so he's saying, yeah, he heard his wrist, and he's always yeah. messing with it. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I was like, that what? was fun. I was like, what's he talking about? Uh, or only thing that's a, that's a, not too that's rusty. a way to spell correlate. Any, any, anything, <laughs> Sam. Anything I have that correlates with Burrow injuries, uh, but still does well, I can tell it bothers him. I'm interested to see if it bothers Burrow like that too. Trenton, thanks for yeah, joining us, my man. Yeah, I think. I'm I'm not gonna lie, man. To me, it's gonna be all about the price. Like if he keeps if he keeps falling to how far do you think Burrow could fall because of the risk concerns? I mean, it's like legitimately. It, if he had like no wrist, I probably wouldn't draft. Him, okay, but like, like sure. Thanks, thanks, man. So, realistically, yeah, <laughs> do you think he falls? If Joe Burrow no further was than the a 109, worm, would you still draft him? <laughs> <laughs> then that, that's true. So if Burrow falls to like the 109, which we have seen before, maybe if you're lucky enough, if these risk concerns keep coming up to the 110, do you think he's at high risk? Um, uh, high risk at bad risk. High, high risk at bad risk. Um, then I would take him there at value. Again, it's going to be all about the value because there, I mean, there's risk with any guy. There's risk with Anthony Richardson, but he's still only at the one-two turn. So stop laughing, dude. I'm trying to explain the Joe Burrow question. Birdman's here. It was a good yeah, question. Birdman's here. Yeah. We <laughs> just have to let everybody we, we, have, we have Birdman here. What's up, Birdman? Hey, Birdman. You're not the Birdman that got dunked on by Paul George, right? That was epic. That, dude. Remember that? Those were the days. Yeah. Those How? were the days. How long was Paul George? It felt like Paul George was on the Pacers for a long time, and then he totally screwed us. But he wasn't he, he on was, the team for super long. Yeah, it was it was like seven years. Yeah. I know, but like, nice. uh, okay, seven years. Like, how old was he when he went to the the Thunder? Three or four. No, how old was he? Oh, he knew what you. Oh were. my gosh! <laughs> yeah. So he's twenty seven, twenty. So he's like what thirty? <laughs> Thirty three now. Gosh. Quick maths, quick maths. Yeah, he's yeah, wow. Okay. Uh SD's edits says, Do you guys think Jacob ah. Jacob Cowing is worth taking a shot on in the fourth? Yeah, I, I do think so. It's a fourth round. So 105 to 102 have uh two oh two and a twenty five second. Um So you're trying to get from the one oh five to one oh two? Maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. No. In a super flex league, no. Yeah, just stay put. Yep. Uh, Farmer Maisie says, getting a rep in my seat tonight, it's a pleasure. Uh, Kev says, you should throw some m in some misdirection feedback. We, we did that before we even saw that. Uh, John S. says, strapped for uh, QB2 and Dynasty. JSN for golf. Too rich? Mm, honestly, w what do you think about that? I don't think that's too rich. <sighs> Second round pick swap. Uh, his 201 for 2062. If, if it's golf in the 201 for JSN and 206, I'll take golf. He's to, uh, he's getting golf in the 201. Yeah, because he says he needs a QB two. I mean, if I did, if I needed QB two, I would make that trade. Golf, what's what's golf's value relative to JSN right now? Six, seven, probably a couple rounds. Eight, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a fair deal. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He's been going in the fourth or fifth consistently. Yeah. Like, honestly. I mean, you're jumping up success wise with rookie prospects. You're jumping up a significant tier, and from the 206 to the 201, also. So, I mean, that may as well be a late first. Uh, John says he rebuilt his league in Sleeper just for the assessment tools. Honestly, that's smart, dude. Sleeper's good. Uh, never Way seen, never seen C Mac in the fourth. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. How about that? That's where he should be going. Totally right. Yeah. 
Mm, mm, interesting. Uh, Matthew mm. says, sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. League settings are actually changing too. That stinks, but we're getting rid of kickers and defense. Let's go. But ES ESPN isn't letting me change it currently. That's why ESPN sucks. I am the commissioner. Hey, good for you. you just transition to sleeper. Mm. Yeah. TS32 says in a 12-team Superflex, you got Mahomes, Lamar, Herbert, Levis, Najee, Ramondre, CD, Amon, Ra, Puka, Pittman, DK, Godwin, McBride, and Hawkins. You got the 109, 110, 3 first for 2025. And do you have any moves? Trade up and back from 109 to the 1, 2, 2, 10. I could be an auctioneer, couldn't I? That was pretty good. Yeah. Sold. <laughs> Thanks. All right, that's all I had to say. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I would... Um so he has a 109. Yeah. Um, we generally recommend after, at this no. point, 108. If you could trade back even just a few spots, you're still on that same tier of those studs where you're really going to get good regardless of where you are in that tier. So if you can get quite a bit on top of that by trading back or even see what proven asset you can get in exchange for the 109. I mean, that 109 is increasing in value as we speak, and it's, it's going to keep going up in value. So... Uh, before we get to the NFL draft, before we see landing <laughs> spots and they really hit their value ceiling, like see what you can't get over the next couple of weeks in exchange for that pick. So Schnitz is here. Schnitz, Schnitz says, what's up? What's up, Schnitz? Good to see you, man. DF Wu-Tang says, Kansas trash cans. That must be a new thing that we just don't know about. <laughs> mm. Then when he said running back cans. Yeah. Have you guys heard that? No. No. Legit never heard somebody say cans in my life. But, uh, well, actually I have, but it wasn't. Anyways, uh, Matthew says, <laughs> just bought the blueprint, now got to find the Discord. Um, yeah, hopefully you can get your Discord linked and oh, find he the... he said he found the Discord. Oh, he did, okay. After the live stream, I'll answer the blueprint. Let's go. Info you guys need. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, Mystic Flame says, are we rolling with AJB at wide receiver two or tiering down plus a pick? I am trying to tear down. I would tear <clears> down. That's what we like doing. Phillip's here. Nathan, you got Phillip. What's up, Phillip? Yeah, he says, hey guys, discovering your channel. What's up, dude? Has been a good... Oh, a godsend. <laughs> Sorry, I can't read. Don't don't face. I'm I, I'm having a hard time reading. My league is twelve team, one QB rebuilding team. I hold the one hundred and six. Philip, I really appreciate that you love our channel, even though we are occasionally slash all the time idiots. I hold the one hundred and six, trying to move up. Is my pick plus Kyron good value to move to the one hundred and two, one hundred and three, or one hundred and four? Can you pull up the Parks and Rec like Joe Calmezzo <laughs> tweet when she's trying to read the thing during the town hall? That's what I think of every time he does. So Philip, in a one hold QB. On. Ooh, that's a pretty big tier jump from the 106 to the 102 plus Kyron Williams. I like Kyron Williams a lot. If you're going to move off of Kyron Williams and give up the 106, even, a one, even in a 1QB for the 102, I, I would only do it for the 102. I want to get the best of that bunch. I want to get the best of that tier from the 102 to the 104 for you to be able to give up that 106 and Kyron. Can't find I think it's still I think it's still fair value in a 12 team. Also kind of depends on how many players you're starting. If you're starting eight, I would definitely go for the 102. If you're starting 10 or even a little bit more, then upside is going to be a little bit more neutralized. So you might consider just holding on to Kyron because he offers a lot of value there. But there's a lot of value offered in the 102 at the moment right now as well. So I would probably see if you can't pull off the 102. If it's going to be any pick lower than that, I'm not interested. I, I would play hardball and, and and stick with stick with the highest possible pick there. Schnitt says hypothetically, if six QBs get drafted in round one, not happening. But this is hypothetical, which means not real. Uh, do all QBs deserve it's to be drafted in round one in rookie real. drafts? Could be. Uh, hypothetically, hy yeah. hypothetically, yes, probably yes, but which they means won't. It means be. it could be yes. <laughs> uh, well, hypothetically, says, birds are not real. Oh, all six, yeah. Duh. So. And well, no, who are they? Jaden Daniels, Drake May, Caleb Williams, Michael Penix, Bo Nix, and JJ McCarthy. Oh, yeah. Spencer Rattler. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Right. I was like, <laughs> that was a joke. Joe Milton. Yeah, no, uh, Matthew says, Tony Pollard might not even be a starter next year, LOL. LOL is right. We are laughing out loud a lot at that because people told us that he was elite. No, he, no he's at his best when he's not a starter. Like when he goes to another team and he's playing RB2 to a running back that can actually take a three down workload and you throw Tony Pollard in there every once in a while, like he'll probably be, you know, decently productive for uh, <laughs> what he is, which is an RB2. Jose says, currently own the 303, 307, 311. Am I packaging these picks to move up into the second round for Malachi Corley or Braylon Allen? Uh, I don't think you have to package your picks to move up for, because I don't, I think Malachi Corley think is going to fall in you. the third round. Yeah, I think yeah. they will. So the answer is no for me. But if you can package your thirds <laughs> and get... <laughs> <laughs> Berman says, no, I don't have tattoos. <laughs> I know, I saw that. Um, if you can package your thirds and go to get a early to mid-second, you always do that, though. So don't just don't do it to go up and get those guys. Those guys are going to fall to you. 
R. Griff, Giants. What's up, buddy? How are you guys feeling if I say Ken Walker, Christian Kirk in the 211 uh, for the 205 and T. Higgins? Is that an overpay? Uh, yeah. So it's, it's Higgins over Walker, and then it's Christian Kirk in the 211 for the 205. And I would take I'd Christian Kirk. Probably go Christian Kirk, and I think that gap is a bigger gap than the gap between yeah, so I think Walker and Higgins value-wise. I, I massively prefer Higgins over Kenneth Walker personally, but it's not enough. Mark, there's not enough of a gap there value-wise for me to really take the Higgins side. So traded Hurts for Murray and Addison in a superflex uh, three wide receiver league. Hurts for Murray and Addison WRL. I personally like that down tier. I personally like that. Mm -hmm. Mystic Flame uh, says 12 team super flex start 11 101 get 103 and 104 yes 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 all the live long day yes Ben mm -hmm. C says uh, 12 team super flex trade the 107 for Ayuk hey can you change this clock to 30 seconds is that a minute again that's why it's going so slow oh uh, yeah Come on, man. Yeah. Uh, 12 team super flex. I trade the 107 for Ayuk and a 25 third and 26. Throw away the thirds. Uh, the 107 are Brandon Ayuk. <sighs> well, Ayuk just went 312 in this draft. He's going 3 4 turn pretty consistently. Where's our 107 after that? Give me Ayuk. I like the 107 too, but Ayuk. Did you hear the report today about Ayuk most likely getting traded? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, that I mean, which, which was expected. Yeah, but. we expected. Uh, Eighty-five million to dead cap to release Wilson. That is nuts, dude. That's crazy. It's called a full rebuild right million. there. Yeah, I mean, it was that or like twice that because of if they were to keep him. So I wanted to move, but eight to two vote. I wanted on sleep. That sucks, dude. You need to you need to get on and here. I mean, put your name in for the listener league since you're on flock now. Put your name in for a listener league. Try to if you're the commission, just say executive just say, order. We're moving to yeah. sleeper. Do it. Order sixty six. Uh, Cap says best QB in the draft line is seven one is interesting, and he's talking about why can't I? JJ McCarthy? <laughs> of course. Hey, we had an argument about JJ oh. McCarthy today on our on our video, so you're gonna have to see whose side you take, Caps. I know. I know he it. commented in our video, and he was like, "It's." He said something about it being really criminal that we took JJ where where we did. I it was one big tier, okay? Yeah, like he, he, uh, you'll see in our rankings, it's about the same. Uh, Broncos poverty franchise have to agree. Uh, Skyrism says, speaking of Pacheco and Spears, Actually, they just went back to back. quite the opposite. <laughs> Shut up. They are not a poverty franchise back to at back. all. It doesn't oh, matter how seven, bad they are. Five, they sell tickets, six. man. <laughs> they you know, they definitely do. They they have a. 50 year waiting list for season tickets. Yeah. One QB start nine price for Kenneth Walker late first or early second. Uh, early second. I wouldn't be buying Kenneth Walker. Cans equals dynasty trades in five. It's on the trades in five shows, what people are telling us. I've heard of them. So that I guess that makes sense. Uh, Derp Anthony says, How would you guys feel about trading Brees, the 109 and 225 first? Brees, 109 and 225 first for Mahomes in the 208. Ooh. That is a lot of value you're giving up. I mean, the second a second round startup pick plus a first plus two future firsts. I mean, I, I'm taking. I I honestly just hold. Is this terrible that I would prefer I mean, the Brees have, side just I think for you just the value? Have to hold because you're giving up too much value there. Even though yeah. I want Mahomes, like I know Cousins that late feels solid. Cousins went in the seven uh, eleven. Nice. He went Ooh. to the gas station pick. Yes. Yeah. We love uh, the gas station. Pick. Schnitz says, do you believe this uh, JJ McCarthy being in the third QB off, off the board rumor? Uh, he does. I don't. Well, I, I, false. I, I believe the... Uh, I didn't say that. What, you, I you still think, think Jaden so? Daniels and Drake may go over him. I, But I think he could go in the first round. Oh, okay. That's all I believe. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, believe, love, I believe people saying it. I don't believe that it's true. But that's that's where my that's where I'm at. So. Do you like JJ McCarthy? I'm not particularly high on JJ McCarthy. So um, high. And, I, and I'll leave it at that. Mystic Flame says, could Kittle be a value if Ayuk leaves? Kittle's already a value, dude. Kittle's already a value. Matt says, Aaron, are you calling DT5 cans? <laughs> right. Oh, that's some that's some talk right there. John says, building off the golf for JSN question, would you rather sell off JSN or the 109? You have the 108 and the 109. Um, I'd rather sell off the one oh oh for golf, one oh nine. I'd rather give up the one oh nine for golf, probably. Right? Yeah. Aiden says back to the rookie mock. Why did Theo Johnson fall so far? I thought he had a great combine. It's a deep class, and I mean Theo Johnson's gonna have to get good draft capital for him to move up. I mean, 
right? Correct. Yeah, I, 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 I all the time, all really all the tight ends had a good combine, including the, the KSU yeah. guy. But yeah, I mean, even if they do get what we call respectable or good draft capital, what are the chances they really increase in value? I mean, how many day two tight ends went last year that you just don't even hear about anymore? I mean, I'm, I'm talking about Hendershot. I'm talking about Brenton Strange. Talking about some other tight ends that I can't even remember off the top of my head because they were so random, like Brenton Strange. Yeah. Um, that it's just it, it's such a toss up with those guys. I'm not taking any shot on them unless I'm getting them off waivers or like the very last pick in the fourth round when you know you never know with the tight end. Uh, Jose, so the reports coming out of Southeast Michigan are that he's going to go top fifteen, possibly even top eight. I've seen the reports and I've adjusted my rankings. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me that it's coming out of Michigan. Well, no. I mean, it's, it's Michigan. Uh, JJ third could be off the board. No that. chance. I, I honestly don't think. I think it's a very slim chance of that happening. I, I don't buy that. Uh, Jerry says, hey, guys, love y'all. 12 team Superflex start 10 tight end premium, one PPR. See, I, see how I've read that I thing? I to say Luke Shoemaker. What Sorry, did you say? I was thinking about what I said like a minute and 30 seconds ago. So somebody's already roasted you in the comments for it. Yeah. Debo I and I Herbert. I roasted myself. I meant Shoemaker. Debo and Herbert for the 111, 25 first and AJ Brown. De um, Debo and Herbert easily. Easily, yes. Debo and Herbert. They're not even close for us, Jerry. Yes. Love you too, buddy. Schnitt says he's calling a shot right now that Drake May is by far the best quarterback from this class when we look back at it. I don't. I do not. I personally don't think that's a hot take. I, I don't am think super that's Super high on Drake May. We all love Drake May super on this duper. channel. And for some reason, a lot of people don't. Like, I don't understand it. You know what I? You know what I heard? One of the dumbest things that I heard from like a, a pretty, respectable person in the betting market was like, uh, you know, so. I really don't think I, I just am not sold on Drake May because I mean you, you would think that all of the North Carolina keyword helmet scouting uh, all the North Carolina quarterbacks that have gone in the first round over the last couple of years like they just you think that North Carolina is QBU and none of them have even been that good yeah newsflash Drake May is not Mitch Trubisky or Sam Howell neither is Sam Howell Mitch Trubisky or Drake May neither, neither is Mitch is. Trubisky Drake May or Sam Howell they are different players playing in different systems at different times and they are analyzed differently by NFL teams do not yeah, tell but the they're all on North Carolina it doesn't matter see CJ Stroud and Justin Herbert who never had successful NFL QBs from their schools before they were drafted uh, happens all the time. Waddle or Nico Collins for PPR next season? Actually, LSU, too, I think, right? Before Burrow? Sorry, what was the question? Nico Collins or Waddle for PPR next season? So, like, I mean, I guess this is a redraft question. Oh, yeah, i go Waddle. I think I think I would go Nico. Really? Yeah, just... Even with the... even with the. So, if you were drafting today, would you rather take I would take, take Nico Waddle? over Waddle right now. Really? For next even season? Even with the risk of them drafting a wide receiver? Because there's more risk of them getting a wide receiver than, so than Miami. I'll, I'll put, I would okay, be I'll more comfortable taking Nico after the draft than I would yes. before. So I'll put an asterisk. Assuming they do not draft a wide receiver, I'm taking Nico Collins next season. So Okay. But if you were drafting today and you didn't know. I'm, I would bet on them not taking a receiver. Again, I right. don't think they take a receiver. Ooh. I really don't. But we'll see. Mr. Yeah. Flame says, what wide receiver would you give up for May right now in a super flex? Uh, wide receiver? I mean, guys in the third round, probably. Um, where did Drake May go in this draft? By He's going right around where uh, yeah. Stroud is going to go. Drake May went at the 212, actually, in this draft. Brandon Ayuk, Chris Olave, uh, Nico Collins. If you can trade those guys for Drake May, I would do that. Yeah. Uh, May is the Stroud of this class. People should learn from last year. I mean, I was uh, in on Stroud. Yep. The uh, That's thing a about dangerous Dynasty, take though, to is say. that just because somebody is the. The yeah, two, we're we're like, talking about no, 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 value wise, okay. situationally. It's we're not comping them and saying that Drake May is going to be just as successful and go off like CJ Stroud will. But Stroud would be the QB of one of this class, in my opinion. Over Caleb Williams. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like I like Stroud as a prospect more than I like Caleb Williams, even though I know Caleb Williams. Is a well, with prospect. with the falling of Caleb Williams, it would probably be it would definitely be a conversation. That's for I, sure. I just I Stroud is one of, was one of my favorite quarterback prospects coming out of college mm -hmm. I had ever seen. Well, you, the narratives the narratives with the, with CJ Stroud probably wouldn't be as extreme if he were in this class with Caleb Williams because all those narratives are on Williams right now. Yeah. So it, he honestly probably you're you're probably right about that. Uh, Matt says, "What's Jake Ferguson's value in one QB league? My other tight end is Pitts. Also, want to target Mayer. Um, I would not target those as tight end premium. I'd go get an elite tight end. Jake Ferguson has value, but it's very little. Matthew says Texans need an, Texans need an O line and running back. That's what I think too. 
but mm -hmm. Nathan thinks that they might use the opportunity to draft a wide receiver. They're obviously not getting one in free agency now unless they – I mean, I don't think IU can up there. Right. Are there any – Kyle, do you know if there are any big-name offensive linemen that are um, available in free agency? So one interesting thing about Houston – because I, because I want to know if they would sign a no lineman in free agency before they draft one in the first round. I, I don't really know, but one interesting thing is um, they're probably going to try to build through the draft more than make splashes in free agency because they actually don't have as much cap room as you might think for a team that has a QB and a rookie deal. They spent a lot of money, which is which was surprising when I when I heard it. I was like, they don't, they are not, they are not super comfortable with their cap room. Um, so, like, to go out and get an Ayuk and sign him, I don't know if they would do that, even though that would be, like, a dream landing spot for Ayuk. I just don't think they'd do it. Uh, sorry, boys, I'm not done. I have to run to the vet. emergency vet. My apologies. You're good, man. Good luck with that. That sucks. I've done that. Kieran says, uh, if you're looking to move off Collins for a safer situation, who would you target? Pittman, Alave, Jonathan Taylor, Sam Laporta, Brock Purdy, Tua, Tyreek Hill, Jared Goff, Romo Dunze. Mm -hmm. Romo Dunze, we don't have a situation, but... Um, those are guys. Yeah. Uh, you would not have Stroud over Caleb Avery. What is going on? I I, ser I am serious. I was I was so high on Stroud. I'm not lying. Like I I, I think Caleb Williams is is a better prospect, but I love CJ Stroud. I was much more excited about Stroud. Do you think Stroud would have been as successful if he was a Panther? No, because he would have started his year with Frank Reich and Frank Reich's. Yeah, that would have been really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that day we had like a three-hour debate about But Frank do I Frank? think Bryce Young would have been as good as C.J. Stroud was at Houston? Probably not as good. I think they would have been a bit more mediocre. All right, it's time to pick our favorite team. Favorite team. I'm going first this time. All right, well, see if you can beat me. Huh? Beat me to it, like oh. picking a favorite team. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, can't pick that team. Um. Oh, I think I've got it. Oh, I think I've got it. Oh, I think I've got it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I got it. I, I got mine. Better not take it from me. I'm going to go with JS283 is mine. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, CD, you know, in the first round, it's like, it's pretty good. But then getting dual elite QB with Kyler and Dak, Devonta Smith in the fourth, then getting TJ Hawkinson in the fifth, Lad McConkey in the sixth was a little bit of a reach, but I still like it. TyJ is good value. Love is good value. Love Ingram. He's great value. Devonte awesome in the 10th. Dotson and Cor Corum. Good team. I like it. Yep. It's my favorite. I'll one. take Tim's team at the 1-5. He gets Lamar and Jaden Daniels. Mm. Both good values. He gets Laporta at the 3-8. What a absolute steal. Romo Dunze and Jordan Addison, young cornerstone wide receivers. Stephon Diggs and Devontae Adams, productive veteran wide receivers. Nice diversity there. Michael Penix and then Najee Harris at the 9-8. That's fine. Marshawn Lloyd. He can move up boards. Tony Pollard. Fine at price. And Jacoby Myers in the 12th round. We always like that know that domain so yeah all right there you go there's our full again we couldn't give there analysis because friday night hey, that that was our analysis there they Ooh, they know from our go. favorite teams yep we will draft live on the show like i said blockfantasy.com slash domain if you want to enter the drawing to be on this week oh, i should have picked my least favorite team as my favorite team yeah we should have played Dang it. freaking chess there i love that you took jj mccarthy there at the seven <laughs> shut up <laughs> so we'll be drafting live friday night Remember, flockfantasy.com slash domain. You get the rookie draft guide. You get a team blueprint, which is a comprehensive multi-year plan for your dynasty team where we help you walk you through all your trades, walk you through how you should be building your team, etc. So like I said, make sure you join us over there. Mother Flocker March, 100 signups, and we do an all-night live stream. So yep. join with code domain to unlock our exclusives, like I said. Boys, we appreciate hanging out with you guys so much tonight. Oh, I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> no, I was going to say twos. But also, watch JJ McCarthy win Rookie of the Year, and then we're going to be screwed. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> I, I definitely could see that happening. Not point. we, me. <laughs> that would right. be really funny. We love y'all. See you later. Peace.